All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So Global finally got the data download for the upcoming Dragon Ball Heroes collab that JP got a couple hours ago. And as you can see, all the new characters, all the new units are officially scheduled to be released on November 19th, 2020 at 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is actually a few hours later than I thought it would be because I originally thought that they were coming out on the 18th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But either way, it's only about 20 hours away. And for people on the East Coast like me, Eastern Standard Time, it's going to be 3 a.m. in the morning, of course. So another late one, but it'll be worth it. I promise. Of course, I will be live as soon as the banners drop or the one banner, I guess, drops. So if you guys want to see some live summons, then feel free to tune in for that. I will be setting reminders on both uh, Twitter and Instagram, so feel free to follow me on those platforms. Eat Like Goku on Twitter and Tiger Uppercut Media on Instagram. Now with all that said, um, let's take a look at what we got. So obviously all the new characters that were introduced in the Dokkan Now program yesterday. We got the SSR form of Demon Goddess Toa. There's the TUR. Of course, we got the man himself, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, SSR form, TUR form, and also Super Saiyan 4 Broly, SSR, and TUR. Taking a minute to load. Maybe we'll wait. Maybe not. Okay, never mind. Uh, either way, there's Broly in his TUR form, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, as well as the Token Awakenings for a couple of older Super, or not Super Saiyan 4, uh, Heroes collab unit. We got the Makioka form Demigra. We got the Awakening for Black Mass Saiyan, Dark Mass King, and Super Mira. And finally, we have the new free to play Demon God Salsa? Salsa? I don't really know. Demon God Salsa. And there's his TUR. He's going to be available through the new uh, Dragon Ball Heroes 3 event. And we also have the summonable. Demon God Zabura, there's his SSR form, there's his TUR. Okay, so these are all the new units that are coming with this new collab. We got a ton of them. And uh, as far as the Super Saiyan 4s and also Toa and uh, Zabura are concerned, we did go over all their details in my uh, Tokon Now recap video yesterday. So if you guys missed that and you want to know exactly what they do, then feel free to check out that video. I'll put a link to it somewhere above my head over... There, I think. Okay, so we won't cover them in this one, but we didn't talk about the Token Awakenings for these four right here, so we're definitely going to be talking about them, as well as the details for the Free to Play Salsa, and also some info about the upcoming uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History style um, event that we're also getting uh, when the celebration starts. So uh, why don't we start here with uh, the Demigra first. So Fizz... Um, Kyoka form Demigra. His leader skill is going to be extreme fizz types, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 120%. Extreme class allies, key plus 3 and defense plus 30%. And all enemies, attack and defense minus 20% plus an additional attack plus 10% per crossover category ally on the team. So basically, if you have a full crossover team, he's going to be getting 190% attack, although I'm not sure how it's calculated. It could be um, separately, right? Like where you're actually getting more than just 10% each time. So his total boost might actually be, might actually be much higher than 190% when you have a full crossover team. And he's also a bit of a support unit, getting good defense, debuffing the enemy, very solid awakening, in my opinion. Links are demonic power, demonic power, Brainiacs, Revival, Master of Magic, Godly Power, Chattering the Limit, and Fear and Faith. Okay, now from there, let's talk about the Black Mass Saiyan. Leader skill, extreme AGL types, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 160% when key is six or more, and key plus 2 when key is 10 or more, plus an additional attack plus 60% and medium chance of performing a critical hit when there are another 3 or more crossover category allies on the team. So we're looking at 
attack and defense plus 160%, then 60% more attack, and also a medium chance to perform a critical hit, and also um, getting more key as well, so uh, he's really good. Yeah, he's, he's really, really good. Um, I would say better than the Demigra, who's already very solid, so... Uh, yeah, good awakening or amazing awakening for Black Mass Saiyan. His links are Saiyan Warrior Race Prodigies, Saiyan Lineage, Real Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. Now let's move on to Black Ma or sorry, Dark Mass King, who I believe is the best out of the four awakenings. Um, I mean they're all good, but this dude is just ridiculous. Leader skill, extreme int, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack, immense damage, and lower attack and defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense plus 100% for 5 turns after receiving an attack. Uh, guards against all attacks when there's another Dragon Ball Heroes category ally attacking in the same turn and recovers 10% of damage dealt as HP. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now the reason they didn't give him more attack is because if they gave him like 200% like the other guys, then he would just be healing you for way too much. So, um, I, 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 I mean, obviously I would have preferred if he got more attacks, so he can do more damage, but um, defensively, he's going to be ridiculous, and he's also going to help you stay alive with the healing every single time. Um, so, yeah, he is freaking awesome. Links, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Royal Lineage, Berserker, Royalty, or Loyalty, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limit. And finally, we have the Awakening for Super Mira. Leader skill is, is uh, Extreme Types, or Extreme STR Types, key plus 3. HP, Attack, and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack greatly raises defense and causes supreme damage. So, um, that is actually infinitely stacking. Yeah, so he's going to be greatly raising defense, or raising defense by 50% every single time he supers. Passive is Attack plus 100%, Defense plus 50%. Uh, disables enemies guard, attack enemies attack and defense minus 20% for 2 turns, plus an additional attack plus 50% and high chance of performing a critical hit when the attack enemy is in attack down status. Links are demonic power, android assault, berserker, toughest nails, shattering the limit, nightmare, and fear and faith. So as you can see, he starts off with less defense than all the other guys, but of course he is greatly raising defense, so in longer events he's going to be super, super tanky. In shorter events, Maybe not as much, but he should still be able to hold his own. And uh, yeah, good attack boost, high chance to crit when um, attacking attack down enemies. And can he lower uh, enemies? Oh, he can't. Yeah, he also lowers the attack enemy attack defense, so he can proc his own uh, crit chance right here. And uh, yeah, there is the Super Mira. Those are the four awakenings for the previous Heroes collab units. And they are all crazy, man. I can't imagine. Yo, imagine like probably next year when Super Saiyan 4 Bardock and Super Saiyan 4 Gohan get their awakenings because they're both fantastic already. So um, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about the Demon God Salsa because we didn't get uh, a chance to talk about what he does in yesterday's video because it actually wasn't revealed until they posted it on Twitter. So for Demon God Salsa, the free-to-play unit, his leader skill is going to be crossover category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. Passive is attack and defense plus 60%, attack plus 15% up to 60%, and chance of evading enemies attack including super attack plus 10% up to 30% per crossover category ally on the team. And uh, he is of course free to play, so for a free to play unit definitely want to be uh, better ones out there, especially, you know, as far as the ones you can farm from story events. Um, maybe, I was gonna say maybe he'll get an easy A, but probably not this soon. It's hard to say. It's hard to say, but I feel like if he got an easy A, then they would have announced it um, in the Dokkan now, but not necessarily. Either way, without the easy A, he's still solid. He's still decent. Um, Lynx, Brainiacs, Prodigies, Shocking Speed, Loyalty, Master of Magic, Thirst for Conquest, and Shattering the Limit. So that is the Demon God Salsa, and those are all the units, guys. Um, once again, coming out on the 19th, 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 a.m. 3 a. Eastern Standard Time. Now, the final thing we got to go to or check out is uh, the bosses for 
the new Infinite Dragon Ball history style event. It's called Protect the Future. Wait, Protect History. Um, time Patrollers. I think that it, that's that's what it's called. My French is not the best, but I, I I can get the general idea. So I think that's what it's called. And the bosses are going to be Supreme Kai of Time, uh, Zeno Trunks, and then Zeno Super Saiyan Three Goku, Zeno Super Saiyan Three Vegeta. Zeno Gotenks, Zeno Vegetrunks, and then finally Zeno Gohanks. Okay, so eight enemies in total. Uh, that's the order that they appear in. And, uh, you know, it's basically going to be the same thing as like your Infinite Dragon Ball History, Legendary Goku event, where it's one fight after another. So essentially, uh, any unit that can stack attack and defense, or especially defense infinitely, should be quite good in this event. I look forward to making a video for you guys. And uh, I don't expect it to be too challenging, but we'll see. You know, I don't want to be too cocky just, just in case it's really hard and I, uh, you know, fail badly. But that's the event. And, ooh, oh, 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 also, also, there is, there is a new ticket. Okay, new ticket item. Forgot to talk about this. Big shout out to Yannick Hopman for posting this. Uh, proof of Ordeal is new ticket can get from... Um, I, I thought it was the new story event, but I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure where to get it from. I'm not really sure what Awakened Power, A Trial Towards New Horizons is, but uh, you can exchange it for stuff in the Baba Shop. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the secret treasure chests contain, as, as it says here, right? You can exchange it for secret treasure chests at Baba Shop. Not 100% sure what the chests contain or what the chests are for, but that's going to be a thing. Okay, so look forward to that. And that's today's video, guys. Okay, that was the data download. Of course, some other things we got are assets for the story event, for the Infinite Dragon Ball History style event, as well as the Dokken Awakening medals for um, for Vegito and uh, Broly, the Awakening medals for the free-to-play Salsa, and maybe a few other things I forgot but just like you know different assets for things that we're getting during the celebration so there you have it that is today's video um Dragon Ball collab coming extremely soon look forward to it I'm excited I'm super super excited not sure if that's obvious I'm also a little bit tired okay so maybe like it's not showing through as much as it could be but uh, trust me guys I can't wait and uh, that is gonna be today's video I'm gonna go pass out so I can actually be alive when this stuff drops and i go live for that so um as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.